capitalism in today's world isn't actually capitalism. It's crony capitalism. That's what it is. So since that's what it is, when people hear capitalism, they, they assume crony capitalism. Yeah. Crony capitalism destroys the poor, right? Capitalism doesn't, but crony capitalism completely does, and they're right to believe that it does. It does. Our current form does that. But I grew up in a poor neighborhood. We had girls who would sit out front and braid hair, right? They would braid hair for a buck or whatever it was, and that's how they made money, right? People made money using their entrepreneurial spirit. That's how they got out. My father and I got out, my, and my mother got out of the, out of the, the uh, bad neighborhood of the South Bronx because we were part-time DJs. Right, it was entrepreneurship, it's the general you know, spirit. All those things are crushed now. You need a license in New York State to braid hair. You need a license to walk a dog. Right? Who in the world, what, is there a big dog walker? Is, is there big braid? It doesn't exist, right? Yeah. The guy who starts or the gal who starts a dog walking business or a hair braiding business is someone who's trying to make themselves better. They probably have a criminal record, they probably got a bad credit, they probably got, went through a horrible divorce, they probably can't get a job, they've got a terrible resume. They're trying to make themselves better. There has to be a chance for second chances and a chance, and that chance comes from entrepreneurship. That's the critical piece. If you look at most brown and black communities, mo many of them immigrant communities, but not all, but many are, what's the thing they all have? Entrepreneurial spirit. That's literally the war on drugs. It's a war on entrepreneurship. It literally is. It's a war on entrepreneurship. So when we now legalize these drugs, the first thing we do is we make sure only big business can win. Right. So again, we destroy the entrepreneurial spirit. That's all we do. As we constantly destroy the entrepreneurial spirit, all of a sudden you find that the poor cannot move. Remember something. Government's job is not to help. Government's job is to serve. So they serve the poor. If there's no poor, they can't serve them. There's no intent to get them out of anything. Right? This goes to what I call the at least mindset. You hear people say it all the time. Well, at least there's something. The at least mindset keeps you in poverty. At least give them this, at least that. No, give them every opportunity to have success. The poorer communities are dying to be entrepreneurs. You can see it everywhere. You see, that's why they fight. We make laws that put them in jail for business and they still keep the businesses going.